What's up, everyone? Welcome to vlog number two. Let's talk more about what I what I spoke in my previous vlog. Was just more like an introduction, right? What I'm doing, what's my current occupation, my goals. So now we're gonna talk maybe a couple stories. Who I am better in your vision. So <clears throat> what I did today? Today woke up at six, shower, get ready. On the road, school, start my two classes, my first two classes, right? Handed uh, my assignments, my homework, of course. And after that, went to the court. Was a little bit misunderstanding there, a little bit mis uh, mistake from the attorney. Uh, I went for a ticket. <coughs> I went to the wrong court. Uh, came late to the other court. Nothing was uh, not an issue. I got to settle down. Um, out of three tickets, two dismissed, one paying as a deferred education. What is it? Deferred education is like a probation. If you don't get in another trouble for 90 days, you will get dismissed. But of course, you got to pay a certain fee. So I got to pay $166. Still, más o menos. You know, I had multiple tickets before, so I was paying like more than that, like three, four hundred dollars $400. So let's keep this. <coughs> now we came back to school. I ate the... Uh, some pizza there's one place called manhattan pizza something like that and watching a couple of videos about procrastination and um, you know philosophical videos from you know years ago so it's kind of boring what i'm saying right now just like introduction right now it's kind of rainy outside it's not raining it was raining before <laughs> all right got to the point what I'm trying to do, trying to set up, to be consistent with this content. I like to be in this domain to generate, to create ideas, uh, inventing something fun, something interesting, something that catches attention. Yeah, of course, you think I like attention. Well, what can I say? I don't want to sound like narcissistic. I just want to... When I was a kid, I would just remember, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor, right? And it was what? When I was in third degree, my teacher asked, you know, the entire class, so, what do you want to want to be when you're going to grow, you know, older? Everybody said, like, a lawyer, police officer, and blah, blah, blah. And when it was my turn, I said, I want to be an actor, <coughs> and also I want to be a karate. Why? Because the movies, one of my favorite actors were like Jim Carrey, the funny way, you know, Robert Nero, of course. And the karate because Jackie Chan, Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme, uh, the, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, there were the action movies. So basically an actor and a karate person, right? I like the action. So I was like dreaming. Well, I kind of got, you know, I say hold, you know, put it down because I had criticized critics about my voice. I wouldn't be able to sing because, okay, I might just say like, John. <coughs> In order to be an actor, you gotta you know you gotta be able to sing, like talented, like as a talented person, be able to have voice. And so, <coughs> because I was singing the Christmas songs at school with every class, you know, with the entire class, and they were like bringing my attention that I sing fake or false, and it was kind of annoying for them. But not that annoying, but but I wasn't like singing from from my chest, you know, <laughs> whatever it was supposed to be. So I kind of forget about it, you know what I mean? So now I'm like thinking, this is stupid, you know? The society brings you this, sticks in your wheels. It just, nobody can stop you what you want. Because from the beginning that you're born, you, <coughs> nothing's impossible. Okay, what about demographically, the situation, the country-wise, the, where you're born, <coughs> situation, economically situation, what society class you've, you fit when you're born. It's kind of, it's impediment. It's a handicap sometimes. I mean, sometimes. Somehow. If you look at it from a different perspective, like, okay, if this guy was born with a good economically situation, he was going to have a good future. Not 100%. I would say 50-50, you know. Depends, you know. Even me, you know, I, I wasn't born rich, but not even poor. You know, poor one means not having to eat, not having 
there were some days, you know, there was nothing to eat, like, not drastically, but I'm sure there's a lot of people, they, they deal with this, you know, they overspend, they, you know, they, you know, so you realize you got to stop, you got to learn from mistakes. So, I'm saying, back to the actor thing, right? So, I'm doing these videos, right? Just, like, improving my, my, my English, you know, trying to speak in Spanish. Improving, improving, you know? I'm not going to be overnight <coughs> a superstar or a famous person or, or whatever inf influencer, wherever it's now in trend. No, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm doing this for my, my close, my, my friends, you know, the people that I keep in touch, consistent, you know, so I get to hear, you know, you know, opinions, pros or up, or like pros or cons. I don't care. I might be annoying in the beginning, like, hey, you know, this guy talks too much. It's just, it's just about the progress. It's a, it's, it's a way up, you know. You gotta be consistent. That's why I realized, no matter how your video sucks, audio and video quality is gonna be improved. You know, you cannot buy <coughs> expensive, fancy equipment, devices, you know, electronics, so you can shoot them um, quality video. You start from the beginning, you know, some people have like shitty phones, shitty, shitty, um, sorry about that. You know, camera phones and stuff, you know. But I had a lot of vision since I was like maybe before high school to shoot movies, you know, like how these people direct movies, you know, the filmmakers. That's so amazing, man. That's like a art. You create your vision. Like you have a dream and you, you want to put this in practice, make a movie about it. You know, that's my, one of my passions, you know what I mean, my old, oldest passions. Well, right now I'm in a situation totally different, I want to be a paralegal. This is, deals with totally different area, right? You deal with reality, real life, that you have to solve people's problems, right? The movie making idea is just like a, on the side, it's like a hobby, it's like whenever I have time, you know? What else? Uh identity who you are do you know who you are or you would just want to follow the herd you want to do whatever other people do look what it has impact the money wherever you see people they make good money that attracts you the idea to make that much money but you're not sure if you like what they're doing like for example being a doctor right making 200k a year pretty decent right a couple of years i mean a couple more than couple years 10 15 20 years you'll be able to be retired and have financial freedom but <coughs> would you like to perform would you be able to stand under that pressure you know because you have a huge responsibility you know there's always a risk in every department in every field so you know you gotta see not, not forget about the money the money always gonna lure you you know, money is not everything. You know, you, some people have all the money in the world and they're still not happy. It's still like, I still can debate about it, you know what I mean? Like, like if me, of course I want money so I can have financial freedom, so I can do whatever I want at my pace. <coughs> but no, because now I have followed my dreams, follow my goals. You have to have a mindset that respect, you know, auto-discipline, respect the schedule, you got to wake up at a certain hour, you know, Every day when you wake up at 6, you're going to be tired, you know. You're going to be like, what the fuck is this life, you know what I mean? <laughs> but there's always going to be a result. If you, you're consistent, you're going to achieve your goal and you're going to have a satisfaction. Which is not going to last too long. That's the problem with the human nature. Wherever you get a satisfaction achievement, it lasts like, what, a couple moments, maybe a day. Oh, I got, I got my papers. I got my job. I got my paycheck. I got... I got my car, then everything goes like routine, monotone. And you thinking like, man, I've been fighting for this. I've been waiting for this. I had so much patience, but you always find new goals, new. It's kind of interesting. It's like challenging. This is like challenging for a lifespan. Like all this life, you just like learning new things and chasing, you know, new goals. You update your goals. You want to be successful. And God forbid you, you fall in uh, some, you know, dark side like addiction of, you know, drugs, 
Um, I don't know. There's addictions from a good way, like you have hobbies, you're passionate about fishing, you know, cars, you know, you, it's okay, you know. But if you exceed too much in your, you know, addictions that affect your, you know, your <coughs> day by day routine life, it's not good. You know, whatever it's in excess or too sweet, it's not good. You know, it's proven. You know, if you eat too much sugar, you get sick, you get a lot of disease, you know, you can have problems in the most most known is the diabetes right you know but <coughs> a lot of people react different certain things you know like uh, like i said people if exceed consuming of a certain product they get, they get sick we're human beings we're not machines we're not robots you know so this is like philosophical this is like day by day for me thinking about about life and my perspective you know and some you can see as funny or you can when you see in the in, in the in the back that what he went through you know it's kind of like oh my god like i've been through hell oh wow but when you're in the now moment it's like real time patience mm, motivation has to do like how how long you can go far how long you can last you know all right. Don't think sexually. <laughs> but we can talk about that too. Like now I'm trying to talk like philosophically like about humans. I mean, human nature. You know, I'm still in the beginning. I've been reading some books. I've been reading about law books. I've been reading about, uh, I don't know, uh, ideologies, wars, about mindsets psychology psychological mindset you know sorry you know but i'm i feel like i'm not i'm not enough prepared i'm not enough informed so that's why i'm, I'm sick and have that thirst see every day it's something new and that's why i kind of procrastinate because i see some dumb shit which they promote and that's like nothing but toxic nothing but waste of time and to be an example to begin an example look at the music what they promote you know what has a lot of views they promote Sexual, sexuality, violence, and the pride, the proud, to be proud of doing something uh, illegal, right? To be an outlaw, to be non-conformist, you know, to be original. It's not bad to be original, but as long as you don't go to the nonsense, you know what I mean? Some people can uh, debate here different, you know, but like I said, everybody can have a different point of view. I'm not telling you what to believe, you know, I'm telling you, know, like, my perspective. And some of you might see this very interesting, you know, like, hey, I like his point of view. Or maybe you should suggest, that, or I suggest him to talk about more this, you know. I can debate any subject, man. I'm an easy, easygoing person, you know. I'm, I'm not very one-way mind, you know. I can, you know, appreciate, you know, your ideas, your, uh, your different <coughs> perspective. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, okay, let's wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed. I hope, uh, you know, you explore this new, new, and it's not a new me. It's just me. It's been me like all the time. It's just like I haven't been exposed that much. I didn't, haven't talked about me. Like, because everybody's saying, oh, be careful what you say. Be careful that. I'm conscious. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. I'm not under influence, you know. It just... You got to open up, you know, you, if you like what you're doing, like I've been doing this, you know, stories, you know, a couple of videos. Why not share more stuff, you know what I mean? What if I die tomorrow, right? Don't think about it like, <laughs> it's going to happen. It's just like, if we were meant to die, we're going to die no matter what, right? Like, I feel like I, I died a couple of times before. Like one time, a, a 18 wheel truck almost hit me when I was on the bicycle. I thought, like, if I was, like, getting hit in that time, I was gone. I wasn't now here, right? So, but that doesn't mean, like, you're not going to be, you know, conscious, you know, precautious. Of course, I got to see for myself. I got to take care of myself. It's just, like, spiritually. We're spiritual creatures with intellect and uh, physical bodies. That's, I like, what I saw from a video on YouTube. And... Yeah, that, that brought me my attention. That's why I want to share this, all this kind of tricky mindset, tricky environment, tricky ideology. 
so in the end i'm gonna work on the next video more prepared and have an outline and mention more things all right peace out and don't forget subscribe subscribe to john amariwari on youtube come on i need to get a thousand subscribers let's make it nice